Hello everybody, Grace Two Plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. It's been a fruitful week on the workshop. Yes. It's like you can hear an engine, but there's nothing moving. What could it mean? It could mean that Lizard has been up to it again with the dude's diner. <laughs> Look at this thing. Breath mints. Oh, that's good. Free luxury restrooms. These restrooms are better than normal. They have toilet paper in them, sometimes. Finger licking, gut wrenching goodness, like grandpaps used to be. <laughs> Curb stomp perfection with every bite. That's right, folks. We're not just doing roadkill over here. We're curb stopping the crap out of it. It's like making veal, how you have to beat it into submission. It's the same thing that's going on with this delicious, delectable delight. This is really neat. So, not only nearly rat free for one week. <laughs> oh man, I haven't even looked at the inside of this, but from what I read, it is friggin' epic. This is not just this single building here too. I gotta show you boys, well hold on. It looks like there's an outhouse. Yep, we have the unisex outhouse over here, guys and gals. I don't even wanna, oh no, it's the feces and the urine. Oh, Lizard, you actually made blocks for it. You are possibly, there may be a thing as too thorough. I think we're there. 180 days, 80 days. Oh, I see. We were at 80 days. We were at 160 days rat free. But sadly, something must have happened. So we're back to, uh, we're back to one week here. Dude's demo, which is foreshadowing because Lizard also made a demolition vehicle uh, very specifically for the purposes of blowing crap up and I think there might be oh this is just what is this just like a pile of urine out behind the outhouse I don't even want to know let's go ahead and uh, move past the door that's falling off and the banister that's come off over here that is what you hear oh that's crazy the seats are moving of their own volition did I do this or hold on Look at this though, the grill is working. It's smoking and everything. This is hilarious. Hold on, I gotta see if, I don't know if I can turn this off or on or what. I don't think I can. I think it's just permanently on. Yeah, it almost seems that way. Like there's nothing I can, um, well, I could probably go inside here. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna turn this off real quick. There we go, I got it all turned off. You know what? We're gonna walk into this the old-fashioned way. I'm not gonna use the flying method. Let's go ahead up the steps here. I think I just knocked something down. Fresh off the car grill, we got mosquito moose, honeybee tea, and 44 caliber fritters. Try our new mosquito muffins to go. Well, this is an absolute hellhole. I love it. Oh, that reminds me too, as a matter of fact, we may need to, I wonder if there's lighting in here. I'll bet there is. Okay. This, I have to jump out of my body for a minute here. This completes it. Complete with flickering light. I wanted to go in on foot, but I have to show you this real quick from the outside. That is red light district worthy. Oh, you can see the urine really good from here. That's awesome. Oh, it's both awesome and horrible. All right. Well, let me go ahead and uh, dilate time back to around where we were. Get back in my body real quick. And we're going to go ahead in here. You got your, your free breath mints. Let me go ahead and push on past the doorway. So we've got cow tipping good. I don't know. Are these like cow pies or something? $12. Absolutely no complaints. No fussing. No man buns. No refunds. Okay. Oh, oh God. I'm sorry. Uh, this is why I don't come in on my on my own two legs. Attention all pot licking punks. The cashier is armed. Does he have a gun under the counter? I think that's a double barrel shotgun right down there, boys. Right there. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Did you sail meal? Press A. <laughs> Press B. We have uh, cocktails of hog spit, piss water, fire water, moonshine schnapps. Moonshine Extra and Moonshine Sunrise. A lot of moonshine going on here. A lot of moonshine. I don't know if that... I hope that's a lemonade and not somebody's urine laying on the ground. But uh, in this place, you never really know. You kill them, we grill them. 
Possum Taters, Leaping Lizard Lasagna. That's a lizard's name right there, by the by, with the two Zs. Skunk Stew, Duck Dumplings, Wormy Wontons, and Still Slytherin Salami. Mmm. Sounds like a whole slew of protein right there, boys. Oh, we got $5 lunch specials. You've been going to, you've been going to freaking Subway? Oh, no, no. You come over here to the dudes and get semi-shelled sliders, weed-whacked weevils, and something still moving souffle. That's, that's amazing. Let's go, let's go back into the, uh, into the back room here where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens, boys. This is where the magic happens. You got your burner, then your... I don't even know what half of this is. There's like, there's just random things laying on the ground. I don't know if these are... Oh god, I'm knocking stuff over. Here we go. I feel like almost like this is just... Oh, look. Hold on, we got instructions. Number one, check your temps. No more stew incidents. <laughs> Number two, if it's still a screaming, stop it. Oh, this place is friggin' amazing. Number four, flip tire... Oh, tire treads face up. And we skip right to number seven. Always take a jar to the toilet with y'all. That's what this is. They're just filling up piss jugs. Don't just fill up the piss jugs. Take it to the toilet, man. It's right out back here. They just throw it out in the back. That's amazing. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, step out of my body real quick. We're going to leave our boy back there. I guess that's the charcoal or I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's fecal material. Um, there's a... There's a pump over here whoa there we go if you need to put out a fire right over here we got you covered with the epic pump all right lizard this thing is this thing is absolutely incredible um man every time i see stuff like this this is some of the most amazing freaking detail with the signs and everything i've ever seen but you boys know what's gonna have to happen we're gonna have to blow it to kingdom come. You weren't expecting this, were you, lizard? That's right, it's dude's demo. We got ourselves a tractor pull right over here. Couldn't afford the car, so we just grabbed the tractor right off the farm. And we have that very, very high quality dino mite, baby, 2.4 gigahertz. Oh, all right. We got the uh, dude's demo. That's what the trailer looks like. It looks like a piece of dynamite happened to uh, fly off the back end. Um, I don't know what to say about that. Anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, bring our dynamite catch over here to dude's diner and see if we can lay down the law with this thing. That's right. It's dudeception over here. Oh my god, this thing drives like, like absolutely horrible. Oh my god, I'm sliding all over the place. Oh, don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall, don't hit the I don't want to blow up yet. I know it often happens. Oh my god, it's like driving on ice. Okay. We're almost there, Gray. Just kind of, oh my, do you see this? Do you see this? Okay, good, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Do you see the drifting that's going on here? Oh, crap. We're stuck. Okay, hold on, hold on. I will not be defeated by a friggin' fence. There we go. Okay, so this is an interesting destruction method. So what you gotta do is you gotta pick up these winches over here and you attach them to the building. This is new and exciting. I've never really done anything like this before. So we're gonna grab all this. We're gonna attach it to the redneck eatery over here. Uh, what else do we have? Do we have any more? Detonate, oh my God, not yet, please God. All right, we're gonna move this over here. We'll, we'll put this one on, uh, we'll put this one on this side. There we go. And do we have any more laying around? Yep, there's still plenty more. But crap, where the hell did it go? Whoa, hold on there, buddy. Right over here. Don't you, don't you run away from me, freaking dynamite hook. I need you to make me an excellent explosion. Holy crap, there's so many of these things. How many chunks of dynamite are there? Something's happening. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't even use it yet. I didn't use the dynamite yet, no! I wanted to use the dynamite. Oh god, our Oh, the tractor's fine. I think that's where all the money went to, the tractor. So the fact that the tractor made it out of this alive is actually quite nice. Um, trailer's gone. Is this a piece? Oh, it's the outhouse. The outhouse made it out and there's a brick over there. Well, crap. Hold on. That didn't that didn't work. Oh, okay, never mind. Now the tractor is on fire. Of course. Of course. It couldn't We were so close. 
We were so damn close. Okay, I think I tried to do too many pieces of dynamite or something. It all, everything started exploding. I don't know what the hell happened, man. I put a bunch of these hooks up there. All of a sudden, the hooks started flipping the building out. Now, to be fair, I did put a bunch of hooks inside. That probably wasn't the smartest thing. But I wanted, I wanted some of the explosive goo to go inside of the place. Is this, is that truck slowly moving? It looks like the truck is slowly moving. That's probably a bad thing. All right, let's try and get... Let's try and get as many of these things on here as we can, as quick as possible, and then blow this thing up. Okay, I think I did it. I think I got them all. All right, now, it says that you have to, you have to go inside. Hold on now. You have to press page up and page down to retract the stuff. Okay, so that slackens it. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. Don't grab, no, no, no. Why, why are you grabbing the, hold on. Take the dynamite! Don't grab me with it! Don't grab me with it! Maybe it's... I get. Maybe it's supposed to grab me. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Can I detach this thing? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Alright, drive the tractor away. And then it says, press the middle mouse button and enjoy. Woo! Here we go! Oh. That was, that was odd. Um, well, everything exploded. What kind of, what kind of gangster dynamite is this? <laughs> was it because, was it because I, I slowed everything down? Hold on, let's do this at full speed and see if it changed anything. All right, we know how this works. I'm just backing the dynamite into this place. Hold on. There. There we go. Just back it right up in there. Hold on. Let me go ahead and release the hounds. Because we're going to go ahead and drive away from this insanity. All right. Full speed. Dynamite. Fire. Huh. Okay. Maybe it needs to be inside. I tried to pull a couple pieces of dynamite inside, but I'm not sure it worked. Hold on. Nope. Sure didn't. All right. So, you get what you pay for when you buy the, uh, the Craigslist dynamite, I think. That's the moral of the story here, boys. So, here's a cool food truck by 8-Track that we're going to be bombing momentarily with a nuclear bomber. Yeah, you heard that right. And this is American Barbecue, 8-Track, looking pretty good. They only, I only really see a couple of food trucks around. Like, uh, we had, uh, Pepe's Taco Truck. But this food truck over here looks pretty legit. So let's go ahead and uh, set her up for business right over there. There we go. We got that going on over there. We got some lighting in there, have you? So now let's go ahead and take a look at what we can find inside. We got uh, sodas, beers, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, hot dogs. No pulled pork, though. No pulled pork and no rehabs. I'm looking inside of here. Now, I wonder... What you need, I feel like what you need may be a, a nice grill inside of here. Because they do it somehow. I don't know what they like. They like vent the smoke to the outside or something like that. But this is American barbecue. So that means we're going to have to blast it with far too much firepower. And for that, we're going to go over. I think I'll go. I don't know where I'm going to be able to start this thing at because it's massive. We're gonna go over to one of Scrumptious's creation. That's right, since Scrumptious made it, you know it's going to be utterly ridiculous. It's called the Scrumptious Nuclear Bomber. Oh, look at this, Gray still plays. Hell yes, four nuclear bombs to clear the city or whatever you want. Excellent, let's go check this out over here. Can it spawn? Too big for the spawn area, ignore. I ignore all precautions. Oh. Mother of God. Wow. Okay. Well. It's no AT-80, but this is just barely fitting inside. Of oh, it's going to hit the spawn area. Bloop. <laughs> yeah, just, just stop. Just please don't go any further. Look at this evil being. We've got... What are... Oh, these are all the extra props to give it the extra boost. Scrub just was saying... It's so hard to get off the ground because of how heavy it is. 
that he had to add some extra kick. Oh my, look at these, look at the nuclear symbol. <laughs> oh, we're gonna level this city. We're gonna level that friggin' food truck as well. Sorry, 8-Track, your food truck is lovely, but it's gonna have to die on this day. We are up, up, and away, boys. Wow, this thing flies fantastically. Plenty of power. Decent maneuverability. I like it. I like it. All right. Oh, oh crap. Oh, God. Oh, I, I hold on. I, I may be going down here. No, 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 no. All right. Okay. Well, I could take this time as I uh, soar into the void here. Hands clasping my head in frustration. To recognize that I should have just dropped the freaking bombs when I had the chance. All right, boys. Grace Dunn screwing around. Here we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do a barrel roll. Did not want to do a barrel roll in the nuclear bomber. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, turn. Turn for me, baby. Turn for me. Turn for Grace. Turn for Grace. Dang! Third time's the charm, boys. All right, something I learned. Let old Grace screw up so you don't have to. Basically, what you want to do is you want to get up into the air, slow things down, and immediately start dropping the bombs. Because these bombs will go a damn far distance. So let's go ahead and taxi right to about the middle point. Because this thing will take off in a real short distance. Hold on here. Gonna taxi right about to the mid city line. While well, looking at the mid city line. Right about. Hold on now. Right about, come on baby, turn for gray. Turn for gray, there we go. Yes, good. Right about like that. That's what we want. All right, let's go ahead and pull back a little bit here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take off. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take off before we hit those train tracks. But we have to drop these bombs damn near immediately. So we get started going forward just a little bit. Hit the thrusters, take off. All right, we're up and now right about here. Right about here, you want to start hitting those num keys. So the first num key is away. That the, trust me, that bomb's gonna go flying. You don't even know. Second num key is away. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and turn a little bit here. I'm gonna see if I can turn right over here. There we go. And then we'll do the third one, and then the fourth one. All right. So all the bombs should be away. First bomb moving pretty good here. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about, boys. This is what I'm talking about right over here. Look at this. This is this is ground zero right over here. This is going to be perfect. Now, the second one, third to fourth one may have overshot it. I told you, man. You got to get these done right away. Oh, it's right on top of the food truck. I couldn't plan this any better. Yes! American barbecue goes down to the canvas. And the American barbecue truck is a flying. Where are the other bombs? There's one right there. American barbecue, baby. Hope you enjoyed it, 8 track. It was a fantastic creation while it lasted. Where's my other bombs? Oh, they're way up there. All right, so the secondary bomb may, may clear. No, it won't clear the entire. There we go. An excellent hit of nuclear proportions. And then I think the third and the fourth one. Yeah. Oh, hold on now. Is it going to go into the pit? Right into the pit. All right. So our bombing run wasn't bad. We freaking detonated the American barbecue truck. Oh, there it is. There's what's left of it. Yes. Oh, it's so good. All right. Hold on. Maybe there's something else we can bomb as well. Alternate key. Here we go. And start the bomb dropping. All right. Now, the bombs are away. Screaming to their target. The plane off into the stratosphere. Now, this bomb would be the closest one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You are screwed. And there goes the dude's diner. Talk about a direct freaking hit. Oh, look at it. Flip all over the place. Whirl it through the air. Bricks flying. 
There's chunks all over the place. We got a secondary bomb over there in the distance, if you can see it as well. Where's this one gonna land? Oh, right in the middle! Right in the middle! Yeah! Because one building down wasn't enough. We got like four more over there, but holy crap! I think that was the closest that we have done on a target with a bomb. Oh, dude's diner. The dude just got rocked. Oh, now it's just Ood's diner. The other D is completely gone. Yet some people get the D, but not today. The D has gone someplace, I don't know, into the void. We blew it straight out of the, straight off the map. Oh, the firepower of this bomber is absolutely incredible. Look at the destruction. Now here's one from a while ago, but we hadn't seen it. And I feel we need to take the time to look at this briefly before we blow it up. This is Pepe's summer home. That's right, in the vast array of Pepe's materials by Barbarian. This is where all the money goes. This beautiful log cabin. It's got all the appearances of rusticness with all the amenities of luxurious high-speed internet life. We've got the Barbecue King over here, which I'm very happy to see. Every man needs a nice grill like this. I'm gonna tell you, I love grilling. I don't know about you boys. Got the mail, some lovely, I don't know, apple trees, cherry trees? I'm really not sure. Pepe's over here lounging around in his uh, recliner, thinking about all the stacks of cash he's freaking making. Lovely, beautiful uh, stained glass design over here through the front door. We are treated to the, uh, the wonderful foyer over here. We've got the eatery right next to the kitchen. We got uh, the Cold Star. <laughs> Fantastic brand. Fantastic brand of uh, kitchen uh, hardware over here. Inside, this is interesting. Oh, oh no, Signal, Pepe. What's going on over here? This is like a coal stove or something like that? We got the old fashioned way of heating up this place. I'm gonna tell you what, like a wood burning stove. Beautiful king size bed. This place wouldn't be complete without a bathroom. There you go. There's the throne for a man who has everything. He's got his his beautiful toiletries over here, a nice, I think that's a sink, and then the walk-in shower. So, summer home, looking lovely. Now I'm sure, oh look at that, the little steam's coming off the top there. Do you notice that's coming out of the jacuzzi too? Now I'm sure that this has some lighting on it. Oh, it sure freaking does. So let's go ahead and throw on the lighting real quick and check out this real fast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, oh, the light up jacuzzi. Oh, it's got the pulsing lights on it too. Friggin sweet. Now there is one more object that Pepe's has made, but we're probably gonna have to wait until the next episode to check it out. But it does look amazing. And the reason why I say we're gonna have to wait until the next episode is because we're gonna have to blow this thing up. All right, Pepe, Scrumptious has smelled your success and is tired of it. He wants no more of your top foolery, which means it's time to blast off right over here, and it's time to release the bombs. Release the freaking bombs. Now, some of these bombs over here it looks like we may have undershot this time. Now, I still feel like we're going to have plenty of building destruction. First bomb's going down. It looks like it's going to lay down right in the middle of this business section. And the second one may be a little short. I don't know. Maybe we can get... Yeah! First bomb is off. And it's a hell of a hit. Second bomb landed right in the distance there. Did you see it? Oh, man. This, these freaking bombers are awesome. I love these things. Whoa! Did you see this bomb come out of nowhere? And there it goes. Pepe summer home. Up and RKO'd out of nowhere. And on fire. Well, I gotta tell you. Oh, look at this. Pepe's home must have some sort of like anti freaking fire capabilities. It's some sort of inflammable material. It was on fire. But then it got put out. I don't know. Maybe it was all the water from the uh, from the jacuzzi spilling out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. This was these these guys make some amazing stuff, and I want I want to definitely continue 
to see all of the different things you guys make. I couldn't see everything from this week because there was so much cool stuff and there's so much more. I'm going to have to leave some of it to next episode and I'm sure there's going to be new stuff there as well. I know Tom Loco had made a new destructive capability machine. We're going to check that out. And like I said, Pepe's giant new and improved headquarters. I'm really interested to see what that looks like. Anyway, guys, until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>